rappers and producers, let's take today to debunk one of the biggest myths that comes to grinding in music. Do you have to lose sleep? Shout out to Reek High for this question. Rappers and producers, the question that was posed by Reek High with his McDonald's AVI. He was clowning on me a few weeks, so I had to go get him back right now. But anyways, Reek High, I appreciate your support and I appreciate that conversation that we had a few weeks ago and I appreciate this question. Here's what I want to say. Or here's his question. I'm sorry. Let me shut up first. Reek High's question is this. Do I have to sacrifice sleep to be successful in the music business? When I first got into this, I was told a fantasy story about this fantasy grind in which this human being will not be successful in the music industry if he's not working 24 hours a day. Matter of fact, I was so passionate about it that I used to make many songs about the grind, many songs about, you know, glamorizing this 21-7 lifestyle that I used to talk about, that I got this idea from this magazine in New York where they basically said that it was 21 hours of grind and only uh, 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 you know, uh, three hours of sleep all seven days of the week. And I glamorized that, I lived by that, and I was pushing that brand forward, and I said, this is what it get, this is what gets it done. I even seen memes that pop up on a lot of producers' um, Instagrams that say things like, it's like a building, you know, in the middle of the night, and it says 3 a.m., and it says one light that's on in the building, and it says, that's the artist, and this is me. Like, it's just like, okay. You know, I think even Erica Badu says something like, you know, um, you know, they, they sleep, we grind. It is something that across the board has been glamorized as this is how you get your, your dreams accomplished. And like you and I both know, everything does not operate in absolutes. What I mean by that is that everything is not so black and white as that. Do you have to grind? Yes. Will there be some nights where you spend a little extra time awake than sleep? Absolutely. Is it required for you to run your body into the ground to the point where you can't even enjoy the fruits of your labor? No, absolutely not. And if you ask the 21 year old version of Curtis King this, he will be like, that's blasphemy, shut up. He will slap me and then we have to fade. I have to fight him right then and there. It's disrespectful, do not put your hands on me. I don't care if you're the younger me, don't do that. But that's this, this reality of it. I look back at my time where I spent all those nights up. It wasn't so much me spending nights up thinking to myself, this is how I get successful. Yeah, I got to grind harder than the next man. It wasn't that. That couldn't drive me for too much longer because I didn't even know who the next man was. He was asleep probably. I didn't know who he was. What drove me was the fact that I was so excited to do what I loved that I didn't want to go to sleep. Even when I went to sleep, I dreamed about making beats or dreamed about making songs as a rapper. Staying up was just a byproduct of it. Staying up wasn't a badge of honor. But what I learned, the deeper I got into my 20s, into my early 30s, it's not sustainable. And your body will eventually start to fail. Your body will eventually start to, to regress and go against that grinding mentality. Your body doesn't understand that. Your body understands Look, nourish me, take care of me, I'll give you all the energy you need, but I gotta recharge at some point in time. Now, can you push your body to the limits? Absolutely, you can push your body to the limits. Can your body withstand a lot? Absolutely. But what are you here for? Are you here to stay here till 40 or are you here to stay here till 80? I don't know about you, I kinda wanna stay around till about 80. I chill around here for about 80. You know what I mean? Share some perspiration. There's another perspiration. Oh. <laughs> Richie said, Click. I want to be around for a long time. So in my definition of the grind and having a little sleep, it has more metamorphed over time. It's not the same thing. You don't have to go around sleeping only two hours a night to get this thing accomplished. Because meanwhile, somebody else is saying, I don't need to work 21 hours to get this job done. I need to plan eight hours to be efficient so I can enjoy the rest of my time. A good book to read by Tim Ferriss is The 4-Hour Workweek. He basically tells you how to get the most out of your time because we weren't put here. We weren't put here, I don't believe we were put here to work in cubicles for our entire lives. I don't think we were put here to dedicate our time to something that we feel miserable doing. I don't think that's what we're put here for. But I do think that it's a challenge to us and it's an opportunity for us to say, if I don't like this, 
what am I willing to do in this time that I do have? Now, for some people that may be losing sleep, but it's not losing sleep because it's a badge of honor. You're losing sleep because you need this extra hour to get it done. But that does not mean do not sufficiently, efficiently, excuse me, efficiently plan your time out. If you efficiently plan your time out, you ain't got to lose sleep for this. I love my sleep. You know what I mean? And I love getting my sleep. I love waking up five in the morning because I feel like, you know what? I went to bed at 10 when all these other producers and rappers are in the studio and they, all right, you want to go to the fourth song? Let's, let's, let's do that. And they wake up and they're like, this song is trash. I wonder why, fool. Why is this song trash? Because you stayed up and you abused your body. And at some point, your body can only take so much abuse and your body's going to start fighting your ass back and you're going to be so mad that you worked your whole life to get wealth just to spend all your wealth on your health. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's another perspiration. Doodle, look, if you need some more of this juice, please subscribe to the channel below. Be a part of the notification gang. Hey. Hey, thank you to all my Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash Curtis King. Rappers, you want one free beat every single month that you're a member? Go become a Patreon member. Producers, you want drum kits, you want tips and advice, one-on-one to your particular situation, even beat reviews. My fan, fan, no, my friend, hit me up, man. Go to patreon.com slash Curtis King. Look, to go back on the concept, do you need to lose sleep, Reed? No, you don't need to lose sleep unless it's what you want to do. If that fulfills you, do it. But take care of your body in the end. You only got one body. It ain't like you can go turn this body in like a car and get another car. You can't do that. Take care of your body. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Then be able to enjoy your wealth into your later years. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King with Curtis King Beast .com. I can't listen to you. When I listen to you, it's a liability. Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me I